one of my favourite YouTubers is EEV Blog, and hence the T-shirt was one off the uh, page. So if you want one of these, if you're into electronics, you know where to get them. EEVblog.com. Anyway, there. Uh, no, he's not a sponsor or anything like that. I don't have one of them. So uh, it's, let's get right into it. So basically, my uncle is an electronics engineer, and he has been in the industry um, for many 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 years as a design engineer and he has recently had to give up his hobby because it wasn't just a career it was also a hobby he's had to give up his hobby of electronics due to his failing eyesight so that's really sad this is um, my uncle Jeff Wood so hi there <laughs> Anyway, so on EEV blog, this this is hence the the t-shirt and stuff. On EEV blog, one of everybody's favourite segment is a thing called mailbag. Now, what my uncle's done, he's actually given me over a period of time. I've just received two boxes of all of his electronic stuff. So I thought I'd do an unboxing video, just like mailbag. On EV blog. So, without further ado, let's get this open. So, this was the first package. It looks a bit, a bit bad, but let's let's hope the contents inside have survived that. So, uh, 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 wait a minute. That's not a saw. I can't know if I'm going to do this properly. Alright, so what have we got here? Let's find out. Oh. If you don't watch EEV blog, you wouldn't have got that reference, but anyway. Oh, some rainbow cable straight away. Oh, Arduino goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yes. Here we go. We have a digital multimeter. Now, these are always handy, always handy. It's a peak meter, 2000 count auto ranging. Do you know what? I have meters, but that is going to be really, really handy, really handy as a general purpose meter. And they're really nice cable, they're really nice leads actually. They look like, yeah, they've got the little uh, covers on them and stuff. But that is going to be really, really handy for doing stuff outside in the shed because I have set up a bench in the shed so you know to have a meter and a spare meter because actually I mean I've got a couple of meters what I use on my bench which is once I get it all set up I'm still moving house and stuff once it's all set up it's um it's gonna be uh I've got the I've got my uh flukes which I'll use on a bench but I'm always outside and rather than sort of come running up the stairs, grab my fluke and go back out down the stairs, there's a meter. So there, winner winner, chicken dinner. So let's see what else we've got. Oh, we've got some headers. Got a box full of headers. Uh, let's show you that. Yeah, so these are always, always handy. Always handy for uh, designing stuff. And obviously they're the mail versions and then there's the female counterparts that plug into them but yeah ultimately handy they're using um, just little strip board pro, uh, projects and stuff like that so yeah extremely handy let's see what we've got here oh looks like an Arduino oh what is that that looks like one of those Arduino um, Nano that is that's an Arduino Nano, right there. Nice. They are always really, really handy. We have a stick-on keypad. I've always wanted one of these. When I was when I was really young, when I first got into electronics at about nine years old, I always wanted one of these little push pads. And used to get them from Tandy's. Um, 
and they were always outside my budget. You know, a paper round didn't get that <laughs> that much money, so uh, you know, I'd always buy sort of other stuff. But yeah, I mean, that that is absolutely superb. Um, and there's another Arduino Nano. So we've got two Arduino Nanos with full size connectors on the side. How cool is that? That's ultimate. Yeah, because that that's going to make things so easy. Because you know, just having the, the nano in the middle, and it's just wired straight onto the onto these pins here, which you can just chuck at any old wiring screwdriver. Bob's your uncle. All good. Right. So let's get that away, and then we can move on. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, i just seen out the corner of my eye. Cigarette tin. Cigarette tins always contain important stuff in electronics. If you've been into electronics for any number of time, the cigarette tin is where you go to for... Let's find out. Ooh, what is this? What is this? I need my goggles. What is that chip? That looks like board for something. Now my eyesight isn't that great either so it must run in the family. So what I'm going to do is put on my camera, zoom in and see if I can see what that chip is and then I can work out what it is. No, it's not shy, I need to get, some chips you have to get in the right light to see, to actually get, get them to show up. Come on, focus. There we go. It is It looks like it says Max four two five. Max four three five or something like that. Let's have a look. If I can hold that steady enough. MAX four three five I believe it is. Yep, looks like MAX four three five. So what is that? What is an MAX four three five? Because we have four of them in the all important cigarette tin. So let's see what that is. Oh Max four three five. Two seconds, bear with me, because I haven't got all the editing gear, so you're going to have to just watch the whole stream just as it is, because I, I, honestly, I'm, when it comes to editing videos, the reason why I haven't got so many videos up is because I have, I, my skills are not in video editing. Four, three, five, let's put in there, space, data sheet. Let's see what it is. Let's see what these are. I'm, I bet someone that's sitting at home now screaming at me going, oh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, Max 435 data sheet, 250 megahertz wideband transconductance amplifier with diff differential output. I'm going to have to look into that. That is right up my street. Awesome, awesome stuff, awesome. So that's that. We have a sonic detector. So if I'm correct, it, I believe that it shoots out a sonic, like a high frequency sound, bounces and then comes back in. Um, I'm not entirely sure, I've never actually used these, I've seen them, I've seen them, but I've never actually used one. So that could be interesting, yeah, so nice little detection circuit. LED tester, oh nice, nice, That that is cute, look at that. So, so you've got a strip here of the for you've got your positive and your negative here. So your anode goes in the top there on the on the plus, and then the cathode goes in the minus, obviously um, at the bottom there. So we've got also what is that? Eh, at the bottom, AC, AC, AC. Oh, it's a it's it che checks your bridge rectifier at the bottom as well. Nice, nice stuff. So, <laughs> winner, winner, loads of, loads of goodies, loads and loads of goodies. Oh yeah, these, these are always handy, like um, 
plug in like uh, uh, plugs for let's see if I can see see them. So little plugs just for sticking stuff in. We have some they look like zero ohm resistors to me. Uh, that's not what it says on the box on the bag. That is not a header. <laughs> that looks to me like a zero ohm resistor, just one single black line straight down the middle, which is always handy when you want to have a nice tidy board. And that there is. It looks like an Arduino Mega. It looks like an Arduino Mega. This is a Geekworm panel and you basically you put in your your Arduino board obviously this is a, a geek this is same brand geek crete crete geek crete geek crete um, yeah so basically it's um, you put your Arduino on here you can bolt on other modules there you go um, you can just see in the background R Raspberry Pi model A B B. So I wonder if that's a Raspberry Pi there then. Yeah. So this R A B holder, solderless breadboard. So you stick a breadboard in there, and it's like a little little mini workbench. How cool is that? Can you see that? So yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. And we've even got accompanying USB cable to go with it. So happy days. This this is like Christmas. This is like Christmas. But you know, on the other side of that, you know, it, it is sort of a bit heart wrenching that you know my uncle has sort of had to part with all of his sort of stuff that sort of kept him interested in you know um, all his interests and in that. So we have some more rainbow cable. We've got female to female, female to male, and male to male. So everything's covered so that's nice that's in the last little package as well so quality stuff yes so let's have a look let's see what else we've got i think there's going to be a part two of this because i believe i heard him say got some little flat flex cables not flat flex the little um i can't remember the name of them these things not I, what am I thinking I, uh, anyway, I know what they are. Some more female to female, just Arduino uh, connectivity stuff. And we've got a little, little box here, box of goodies. Some more Arduino stuff, oh, ooh, that looks interesting. Prototyping board, look at that. That is a prototyping board for the, either the Raspberry Pi or the Arduino, one of the two. So you've got analog in here, and then you've got communication, then you've got your PWM, pulse width modulation, obviously. And um, that's something that's got hundreds of names. What is it? Mark space ratio. Uh, and what's the other one? There's another name for it as well. Uh, not pulse width modulation. Um, it'll come to me. But yeah, that's like, it's got like three names for the same thing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to look this up. This is a Mega Prototype Shield. So Mega, I would imagine that would be a one that goes into an Arduino Mega, probably. Um, more connectivity cables, male to females. Those are single ones that is, that's all been pulled out and obviously used for various different prototype and stuff what we've got here we've got some more this hasn't been opened yet I believe it's packed I'm just going to see through it it's it's a little pack and it's got what is this I wonder if I can see through there I don't want to open it because if I can see what it is it looks to me like it's it's an some kind of addition board. I'm sure my uncle will, if he sees this. Oh, got a stepper motor. Nice little stepper motor there. Nice stuff. So let's have a look. 
Oh, servos. Servos always handy, you know. Servos can be awesome for um, just getting them to activate switches and stuff, you know. So, and a remote. I have no idea what that could be a remote for unless, unless this board here doesn't have any sort of antenna or anything like that but I'm wondering if this connects into one of these couple of little bits in there so I wonder if that would be an interface um, for that works with that remote I'll I'll find out I'll find out I'm sure I'm gonna get a, a message once this goes live um, so we have some VHS cases now. When's the last time you saw a VHS case? Handy things. Do you know what? If only I'd have thought of that. that these cases, look at that. So it, it says on the back here, displays. So let's get them up. Um, that, however, is not a display. That is a connector. It's a terminal block. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Terminal block. Another keypad. Keypads. I always wanted keypads. I, for some reason, I just think keypads are so cool. I always wanted one, you know, just get the matrix. Um, right, so we've got some WL potentiometers. I have millions of potentiometers. But they're always, especially when you're experimenting and you just want to, you know, plug something in just to get in your breadboard or whatever and you just want to sort of see what happens when you put in, I mean that's a 10k, we've got uh, another two, two 10k linears there so um, they look like it's a passive buzzer that is it's a joystick so we looks like some LM transistors. Let's have a look at that. Uh, I can't see them. Let me right, get them in the light. Let's see. I'm going to put the torch on. So let's have a look at that. E no, I cannot see that. I'm going to have to take one out. I'm nosy. This might be a long video, there's like loads of little bits in here, loads and loads of stuff. So, let's see if I can see that. What does that say? Seven eight oh five. Oh, okay, so it's a voltage regulator, five volt voltage regulator. Seven eight is the positive side. Seven nine's being negative. So seven eight oh five. So little little five volt regulators. Always handy. Five volts is one of the sort of most used voltages for prototyping, um, especially in these days. Uh, you've got, you know, you've got other voltages like three V three, and then you've got your five volts, and then nine volts isn't used so much these days, but twelve volts, and then fifteen, and then occasionally eighteen. But five volts is one of the sort of main sort of voltages that you've used, especially if you've using Arduinos and stuff like that. Um, so, oh, some transistors, what are these? The labels fell off. Ooh, they look like, so they look like, they're LEDs with four wires coming out. Four pin LEDs. I would imagine that'd be a multicolor LED. So, yeah, so we've got little buzzers, and what is this? Oh. A mini breadboard. I've got a load of these, a load of these little colour ones. I don't think I've got a white one. I don't think I've got a white one. I don't know where they are. I've, I'm in the process of moving, so could be anywhere. They'll turn up and that will go in with the collection of mini breadboards. So, let's see what else we've got. Whatever's in here, he 
did not want to escape. But I'm going to let it out anyway. <laughs> so, it says on the back, what does that say? Dia Folino Alduno. Old Uno? Arduino Uno? Oh, it's Davol. It is, says it. That's what it says on it. Davolino. So this must be some kind of development board. Evil mad scientist. This looks interesting. I have not seen one of these before. And there's an Arduino Uno. Just here, one Uno. Uno Uno. <laughs> so there is the mad scientist. Diavino. That should be fun. There's two of those. Two of those and it looks like there's a little pick chip on the front there. So programmable pick. So and then there's the Uno R3 which looks very similar to the Diavolino. So I'm wondering if that is some kind of Arduino, the Diavolino. But wow. So, evil scientist, no wonder he didn't want him to escape. I better take them back up. So, you never know what's lurking in there. Well, I do now, but, you know. Evil scientist stuff. <laughs> so, let's get that taped back up. Ding a ding a ding. Yes, we do not want those evil scientists escaping from the box. So, let's see what else we've got. Oh, we have a load of ZIF sockets. These are mega, mega handy for programming EEPROMs or using just for test points. You know, if you're just chucking a components, flick it down. ZIF sockets are awesome. So we've got this looks like um, a dip size dual inline package, which is standard. Uh, what is this? This looks like an Arduino in a multi purpose ZIF. So we have another, that looks like another Arduino Nano. Let's have a look at the back. Yeah, certainly does. Looks like a Nano to me. Arduino Nano. Coming out of my ears. I've, if these things are then they're not cheap. Those little Arduino nanos, there. You know. I've used them in the past. With um, there's actually there's about five or six of them sitting in my synthesizer because it's much easier to just plug the Arduino in, get it programmed up, and once it's doing what it needs to do put your panel on and it, it just works so you know you, you one minute it's a development board and the next minute it's actually in in use in the circuit so some little strip boards or a Vero board depending on where you, where you sort of learn your electronics and whatever because I've heard it cause so many things Vero board strip board experiment board another sticky pad that hasn't been unstuck yet, so I shall leave that one intact. But that's it, flat flex. This little thing here. That's that's what. The... Right. So we have some test cables. Uh, so that is for your power supply. So you plug that into your power supply, and and away you go. What is in here? We have a rubber, a piece of rubber, a safety warning, avoid dangerous suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and children. Ah, I see, this little piece of rubber, I think this is for, this has probably come along with a development board or something like that, it's probably come as a kit and you've got this with it and it's got little squares cut out there so if you're doing a repair say for example a mobile phone or something like that 
you've got just very sort of slight indentations so you can just drop in your resistors your capacitors or you know you might have a little board out of there you know um, a bluetooth board or something like that you just stick, unplug it stick it in there you know where it went stick it put all your screws in this bit and so yeah that's really handy just to sort of lay down on your bench when you're doing the sort of smaller work and you don't lose all your bits because they all sit in the top bit there and little trays which you probably won't see on camera because they're quite small and quite shallow but yeah handy stuff so uh, just putting it away trying to be neat because do you know what there's there's actually another box after this so I might do two videos I might just sort of split this down the middle because if you're bored with this one you don't have to watch the next one but if you do like it you can just hop on and watch the next one so we have a full set of carbon resistors it looks like there's loads of values here now I usually use metal film however carbon resistors have when you use them for audio if you don't need the accuracy of metal film carbon resistors were the imperfections actually give more um, character to the sound because they you've got these are five percent and obviously the metal film are one percent so you know you've got a tighter tolerance with the metal film which is why I use them but the thing is that they're just a bit too too perfect these you stick a carbon in and yeah it's not quite here not quite there yeah you can trim it down but you get that sort of old school sort of especially in audio you get that old sort of classic sort of sound I'm going to put them back in because we're getting to the bottom of the box there so that looks like a, an instruction manual for a more stuff there's more stuff oh an LED matrix. Look at that. Nice. We have another cigarette tin. Mmm. I'm not opening yet. Oh, loads of development boards. These, these are so handy. The amount of these I've had uh, and used. Oh, oh, these are nice. These are nice. These have got all sorts of different patterns. Gold plated ones there. Let's look at these. These are, oh, I love these things. Yeah, perfect for doing little projects on I've These are really good. So what you do with these is you put your, your component through and you can actually build it up exactly the same as a schematic. So, you know, you just, just wire it at the back. You just push, push your component in, wire the pin onto where it needs to connect to, then that connects to that, you know, blah blah blah. But these are excellent stuff. Excellent. We've got a few different sizes. I've got another one of these. Oh, another one of gold plated. And it's got three. What is this one? Oh, so there's some with. That is like a mimic of a of a breadboard. So this has got the same pattern as a breadboard. Oh, no, it actually doesn't. It's a radio shake. Radio shake. Radio S H E. Uh, sorry, S H A E K. Radio shake. That's surely not a knockoff of a radio shack, is it? Come on. You can't get it. Is it a misprint? I think. It's a misprint, but I'm sure all will be revealed when my uncle gets back to me, because I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'll come back and say, you know, oh, I'll tell you all about that. Amazing. So let's keep them in there. I do have a load of these. Other ones, different ones, different sizes and different... You know. So they are really handy, really, really handy. 
Um, so yeah, I have some of those, but like I say, they're different to that. I'm trying to put them back, and I'm missing the little plastic pocket that went in. There we go. Right, so I'm going to put that back in there. So we have here. Ooh. Oh, now these, this is what I was thinking of. These are more like your breadboard sort of design. I don't know if you can you see that, can you see it? They're a bit more like breadboard, the way that you've got, obviously not as many, but you've got like strips, vertical strips of four. I mean, on breadboard you'd have five, but vertical strips of four, and then you've got a positive or a ground strip um, then you've got your center strips down the middle which you know so yeah this this is like so if, if you've got something on the breadboard and you want to literally take it straight off the breadboard and put it into a hard circuit without messing up where everything goes there's your there's your answer right there and I have looked at those in the past and I thought to myself they could be handy, but never got round to buying them. It was one of them things, you know, you, you flicking through AliExpress or something like that, and then you see them. Okay, now for the cigarette tin. Ooh, a box full of, oh, there's crystals, there's capacitors, and there is a switch. And what do we have here? We have a few, they look like pick chips. Okay, so we have some three picks, by the looks of it. So, this is absolutely brilliant. I'm absolutely loving this. i tell you what, I'm going to put these in with that other um, development boards so they don't get lost. And this matrix here. I shall stick in along with the switch. So I don't like stuff sticking out. I'm gonna actually, when I start building this workshop up properly, I will be yeah. Once once I get the workshop set, up, um, I'll be um, putting the stuff from here into the necessary compartments. Some of them are here behind me. Or maybe you can see them and maybe you can't. There's like just stuff. That's that wall. Right in front of me here is where my, my scopes and my um, bench power supply um, function generators and all that sort of stuff all sits around here. This is all my sort of test bench, multi-testers and all that. A few, there's some more, more of that up here, resistors and stuff like that just for easy access. Um, so, where are we? Right, so let's get this back in the box. Oops. That is awesome. In fact, they can go in there with the development boards and the other keypad that's in there, so I'll keep all that together. And this. And uh, did I go in there? Oh yeah, there we go, just some connectors. So this is that one in here. And little bridges that look like resistors for the zero ohm resistors. And that, so that's box number one. We have a box number two. Now I think what I'm gonna do is end the video there and start again. With the next box and see what's in that. Or should I just open it? What are we on? What are we on for time? Have, have I outstayed my welcome? It's getting opened. It's getting opened. I'm not going to split this into two or three different things. So, right. Um, no, no, no. I can't do that if I'm going to be doing it in the V-Block thing. It's got to be done properly. So. Right, let's see how this opens up. Oh. 
Ha, I see. That needs to go in there. That's not a saw, that's a saw. I think we're in, like Flynn. Ooh. Some banana plugs, gold plated banana plugs. Always handy, always, always handy. Another keypad, another keypad. Uh, there was another, well there might be, let's see, oh these look like them static sensitive boxes you get from Farnell, ooh, let's see what's in there, ooh, I'm going to have to get the torch, or the, the camera, and see if I can see what they are, I have a feeling there's a selection here, because, what have we got, Max 491 CPD, so I wonder if these are some kind of, I'll pump then if the others were Maxim, right. I need to check them out. I need to check. I've never used these. Never used them. It's amazing. You can be in electronics for years and you go down the road, you know, it's like, oh, well, all our pumps, you know, you TL072s, TL074s, and OPAs, and any 553 whatever do you know what I mean and you, you end up sort of going down you just sort of follow these same sort of transistors and then you know and then you turn the corner and then you see a whole load of new stuff that you've never seen before never used you know? oh this I've got some of these I picked up when I was in Thailand but look at that it comes in a neat box and they're uh, Awesome, these are their headers, um, wire, wire to PCB headers. So, so we have another another meter. Oh, that looks like the same as the meter. So I have oh a temperature probe. Nice. So that's handy. That is handy. Meters. You never have enough meters. I love me. In fact, I'm going to be doing another video soon. Um, I'm just going to let it into a little secret, but I'm going to do a video of I started collecting all the old Radio Shack Tandy meters. I had a little tiny analog meter when I was it's about that big um, when I first started, and that was my go-to meter. And I always aspired to those big meters and I've pretty much collected the full range every single one even the outlet one that opens up and the fold away one and um, the big 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 one so I'll be doing a video on them soon and I also collected a few others old, really old baker like sandwars and stuff like that so I think I'll do a video on that let me know in the comments what you think to that idea Ooh, so what are these? These look like more development boards. That looks like another, even smaller nano. A nano nano. A pico, I don't know. <laughs> what would you call that? What is that? Some kind of development board. I'm going to have to have a look because otherwise I'm just going to sit here looking at stuff and you're going to sit there going well this is great isn't it I've put this YouTube channel on and I've just wasted like so many minutes of my life while some guy just sits there trying to work out what something is so but yeah I get the idea I am going to go thoroughly through all of this and see exactly what it all is something else that looks like an additional plug-in it has a battery it is a CR2032 and for those who don't know their batteries, CR2032, 2 is the, is it 2 centimetres for the, the diameter? And so you've got these 2 centimetres or, or 20 millimetres. And then 32 is the thickness of the battery, because so you get the 16s which are really thin, you get the 24s a bit thicker, 32s a bit thicker, 
but you get also get um, 16 um, so that's so it's 20 millimeters 2032 the thickness so but I don't know what that does this has got a battery on it so could be all sorts of stuff on there could be all sorts I will look into it have oh, something with a zip socket with an Arduino on the back. It's got it's an Arduino on the back and there's a zip on the top. DIY more ISP shield digital in Right, so maybe it's a PIC programmer. Maybe this is for programming PICs. Because there's a load of PICs in that other box. So I would imagine this would be a little DIY PIC programmer. Perhaps. I might be wrong, but I'm guessing that's what it is. Oh, passive infrared sensor. PIR. Now, my uncle, um, I did work with him for a while uh, installing alarms. They had a company, Elite Alarms, an Arduino Uno. Um, so we had a company called Elite Alarms, and we used to fit the alarms together. Um, so, yeah, PIR is uh, something we were sort of quite familiar with, you know, obviously then. Some more of these. Um, I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but... Uh, more development boards or nano development boards, miniature development boards anyway, so there's some description. Like I say, I'm going to check all of this out later afterwards. Another cigarette tin. Cigarette tin. Do I open it now or do I open this one first? Oh, we do have another one, another keypad. These are just going to keep appearing. I'm just, they're just going to keep popping out. A keypad, you know, as they have been doing. Oh, that is more of the same sort of thing. Is that a USB interface? That looks like a USB interface that you plug into. Um, yeah, it's just a straight USB interface. There's your, your connectors on the back there. Fascinating. And this one. What is that? So there's a chip here, and now I can't see the chip. I usually use sort of goggles and stuff. I look rather silly. You know, I've scared the postman a couple of times when I've forgotten I've had them on and stuff, you know. But, um, but this one's got a little switch, little little switch at the back, and it is two-way switch. So a little boolean switch. It's got to do something. I am fascinated to find out what. There's loads more bags in here, loads more. Loads more little bags. Aha, uh -huh. banana sockets. Lots of colours. Always handy. I actually made a synth covered in banana sockets, little in a suitcase uh, a few years ago, before I started my modular, one of the sort of um, little projects I built. It was, uh, whole load of capacitors. We have all sorts there. Some really old school capacitors there. Or at least old style capacitors. Can't imagine these would be kept for too long because as everybody knows capacitors don't last. Ceramics are not bad. Although I have had leaky ceramics as well. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a few. There's a few poly Polypropylene, poly, polyester. Uh, yeah. Handful of capacitors. Very, very handy. I have actually got one of these uh, sets of drawers is dedicated to capacitors of all different types and values. And so what we've got here. This looks like a display. That looks like the back of a display. Oh, it's right. 1602, so 
that's handy. And it has a little Arduino for a little, probably for character recognition. So we've got an Arduino there to decode the the alphanumeric characters that go on here, otherwise you just get gobbledygook. So a couple of uh, displays, complete with character, rec character recognition boards on them on board. So handy stuff. And what else do we have? Oh, oh, I see some metal film resistors. I knew they had to make an emergence at some point in that or other. But yeah, carbon resistors actually. That's something I don't have. And on some of the projects, not stuff that, uh, um, some of the projects that have been designed from people from all over the world, I get pro I build projects from everywhere. And some of the projects actually say in, in the bill of materials, they say, use a carbon resistor and I don't think that's to save money I think that's to give a certain sound because like I was saying earlier about you know they have different properties you know different different temperature coefficients and all that sort of stuff so um, so what's here is just looks like an interface so we've got a USB here and so I wonder if that is some kind of JTAG programmer. I'm wondering. I'm just thinking because that looks like the right amount of pins for for JTAG, and then you've got the mini bit on there as well. So I wonder if that's like a JTAG programmer. Goes into USB. I shall find out when I plug it in. It'll probably go device not recognised until I tell it what it is. But <laughs> it's a mystery just now. Oh, another Ziff with a buzzer. Yep, I would imagine that is another PIC programmer, I'm guessing. So, I'm sure my uncle is going to tell me all. He will reveal all and say, you yeah, know it's not you. Hookup wire, always, always handy. Single core hookup wire. This stuff is great for doing, um, doing little bodge wiring on the back of... Um, if, if you ever build something up and you want to take a bridge from you know one pin to another or you know like me you go and burn a trace off or something you know these, these are always handy to sort of put it back so I think oh no that looks like another display with character and now what, and what is this one oh sockets of all shapes and sizes so we've got um Ah, it actually tells you exactly what they are. There's a little diagram here. So, I still haven't opened that cigarette tin, have I? So we've got 28 pin, 24 pin, 40 pin, 8 pin, 14 pin, 6 pin, 6 pin? When do you use 6 pin? Hmm, I suppose um, probably an opto couple or something to go on a 6 pin, I don't know. Uh, 16 pin, 18 pin, yep, they're all there. So, I have been absolutely and completely spoiled. Absolutely. Oh. A 4 times 7 segment LED. It's not every day you see one of them. Especially these days. And there's a couple of chips there. I'm not going to sit and get the scope, uh, microscope, um, phone, whatever. Uh, another seg 7 segment LED single. So, battery to, um, what's it called, one of those plugs for the plug into guitar pedals, one of those things. Arduino Uno, again, I am inundated on Arduinos, I have never had this amount of Arduinos, I have got a drawer in one of them cabinets and the entirety of my Arduino collection resides in one of these drawers, which is, is it this one? Yes it is. It's been a while since I've actually done any electronics. So, and this is the entirety of my Arduino collection. So, here is stuff that isn't Arduino, sharing the same drawer. And here 
is a Uno, a stepper motor, which isn't an Arduino, a Mega, and a Nano. That's it. That's my Arduino collection. Pretty sparse, isn't it? I think I'm going to have a new rack just for Arduino boards. Temperature sensors, all sorts of stuff have found their way into my Arduino drawer because it's, this it's got a bit of space in it, you see. So, but this is excellent stuff, and I think that is that's the end of it. There's a handful of LEDs and transistors and tax switches and stuff just fell out of the bottom of the box. So, and photo resistor. Yeah. There you go. Right. Well, thanks for watching, and thanks to my uncle for giving me this horde of goodies. And apparently, there's more to follow. So, I'm like a dog with two tails. This is great stuff. So, thanks for watching, and uh, hope I haven't bored you too much. And I hope I didn't sort of waste too much of your life, you know, watching this nonsense. Because, as you know, if you've watched my channel or followed it, most of my stuff has been sort of in the synthesizers and music and stuff but some of the stuff in the music room is stuff that I've built in here so I'm going to be doing a few more of the electronics videos in here because I've like I say I've got a few other things up my sleeve like one of them being I've already let the cat out of the bag so um, yeah one of them being the uh, Micronta uh, multi-tester analog multi-testers I'm going to do a video on that and literally I have almost all of the range so if anybody who's watching now has got an old Micronta multi-tester, um, get in touch with me. In fact, I'll, I will leave a link. Go onto my website, Lek Productions or InfiniteMotion.co.uk. Lek Productions.co.uk, InfiniteMotion.co.uk. You get my email from there. If you, any of you, happen to have an old Micronta or an old Bakelite Sanwa or anything like that. Yeah, you can probably pick them up. I mean, I've been picking them up dirt cheap. They're not worth a lot of money. So if you've got one that you want to part with or it's just been sitting there collecting dust or something like that, I would be absolutely more than grateful to grab it before I do this video because I think that's going to make a an interesting one. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for now. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want to support me or anything like that, um, I don't have sponsors and stuff like that. So... If you want to support me, um, you can you can donate through my website, which is lekproductions.co.uk or infinitemotion.co.uk, and you can donate by buying some of my music if you like it. If you don't like it, just have a listen, pass it on to someone that might. But yeah, that's that's really you know I don't make money from YouTube and stuff like that. I'm not a big channel or anything like that, but. You know, it's it's hard to sort of get material in and, do you know what I mean, make an interesting video without spending heaps of money, which I, I can't afford to plunge in heaps of money at this point. You know, it's, like I say, I'm a small channel, so uh, if you do want to donate and whatever, uh, then, yeah, that would be, that'd be massive. Or just sort of, yeah, you know, I don't know. Uh, they, oh, they, I, these bags I didn't open. This is probably where the uh, tax switches and LEDs fell out of because in the bag is tax switches and LEDs. So, um, yeah. Anyway, this, this is amazing stuff. I'm absolutely delighted with every single bit of it. I can't wait to see what's in the next lot, in the next batch. I'm sure it's going to be just as fun. But, um, yeah, that's certainly put a smile on my face anyway. <laughs> right. Thanks ever so much again. And... Um, I'm going to say, I oh know, I'm going to sound as cheesy as anything, like and subscribe, smash the like button, you know, all of those sort of, nah. I've said it now, haven't I? I, I can't take it back, and I'm not editing the video, that's it, it's going straight up, so, thanks for watching.